hello guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to look at how to optimize intel hd graphics for better performance so the first things we are going to do is general window settings so we we'll go to settings and the first setting go to gaming then you head over to game bar and turn everything off over there you turn game bar off no we come back we go to game mode you turn game mode on the reason being that it will allow for the CPU to prioritize the games to make it run faster, to make it run smoother. Yep. So still at game mode, right? So you see graphics in related settings and then you click on it. So first thing you see at the top is optimizations for windowed games. Turn that on. Then we come down. You can add a desktop app or you can search through the list for the apps, right? So here you can add an app or a game. If the app or game is not here already, you can just click on add desktop app and then you scan through your files and select that app or that game now after you add a game or app what you do here is that you click on the game or you click on the app you see gpu preference at default it's on let windows decide so you click on it and then you click on high performance that will make sure that the games are being run on what high performance mode on your uhd or your dedicated graphics card so the next step is that we are going to deanimate windows so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to go to search on the tax bar and then we type in adjust the appearance and performance of windows once we click on it a window will appear like this and on default it says let windows choose what's best for my computer we want the best performance possible you realize that when you click on adjust for best performance it turns everything off but we will not do that so we click on custom so once we click on custom we are going to enable a few of these this is the point where we deanimate windows first one we are going to enable the save taskbar thumbnail previews the next one is show thumbnails instead of icons and then the next one is smooth edges of screen fonts we will enable show window contents while dragging the last one we are going to enable is enable peak this will keep the windows looking okay meanwhile making the performance a lot more better so after this we are going to click on apply and then okay the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to update our graphics drivers you right click on the windows icon on taskbar and then there'll be a list of options over there and then you select device manager once you're in device manager right you click on display adapters and then you will see your display adapter over there mine being intel uhd graphics you right click on it and then you click on update driver it will ask you to search automatically for drivers or to browse computer for drivers you choose any of them I'm going to search automatically for it and it says the best drivers for your device are already installed now the first method is a little bit outdated the best method is this one you can just go to windows update and update your pc right so here we come to windows update and then we download and install you can see a lot of updates over here okay so we go back to search right and we type in intel graphics command center and then we click on it so once we click on intel graphics command center this is what the home looks like there's nothing special over here we go to the next tab or to the next section now to the next section we have display section right so you click on display on the left side of the screen now when we come to display this is where we are met with we have general color information and global settings so, so under general we have display settings and scale the scale here we only have one option which is to maintain display scaling right but under the display settings once you click on open system settings it's going to send us back into settings where we can change our brightness change the color profile select agr change the scale display resolution orientation all of that then we move on to color so in color just follow as i do we have the default settings which are like this we have brightness enhancement and for the all colors move the slider to the one that suits your eye the most the one that you resonate with the most when we come down we come to color enhancement we have saturation we have hue so here i increase the saturation a little bit just like i said it's just the eye test the one that suits your eye the most right the next thing we do is we go to video so in video just like with display for the first one we have standard color correction we leave it on off brightness sharpness and contrast are all grayed out for now because we've already tackled that in display noise reduction is already on let's leave it like that film mode detection is on and this automatically improves picture quality of videos that are made from film so over here there's nothing more to do under video settings so we move on to system so our system we have hotkeys gpus hardware and then power 
at the top so we are on hot keys at the moment we don't have anything to do here so we move to gpus here is just data we go to hardware so, so data we move to power over here there are options here which says extend battery life for gaming and we are going to turn it off because instead of it to allow for power to be drawn from your battery or from the wall from the socket to make sure that you have a much more better better fps or a much better gaming experience it is going to save power to extend the battery life instead panel self refresh we are also going to turn that off because what it does is that it's going to allow the display to refresh itself so that it can reduce power consumption we want especially when we are gaming we want the cpu and the components to draw as much power as possible to make or to give us a much better gaming experience so we are going to turn that one off as well so the next thing is we come to support we have so many other things here we have you know self-help support we have download graphics driver so in case you also need a way to download the graphic driver we have one option over here to download the latest graphics driver if you found the video useful or helpful please leave a like and subscribe to the channel thank you